Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on solving systems of linear equations by graphing. Our objective today is that you, the student, will solve systems of linear equations by graphing. And the question that I would like you thinking about as we go through today's lesson is how can you use what you know about graphing a line to solve a system of linear equations? So we're gonna build on prior knowledge today. So let's review some vocabulary before we dig in. So first definition that I'd like to review with you is what is exactly a system of linear equations? A system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations in the same variables, meaning x and y. So y equals three x plus two, and then the second equation would be y equals 2x plus 4, or something similar to that. But that they both have an x and they both have a y. Here's an example. So here we have our first equation is y equals x plus 1. And our second equation is y equals 2x minus 7. Later on, when you get further into algebra, when you're in algebra 2, you will see that they could be a third equation. If there's a third equation in your system, then you would need a third variable. Typically, that's z. So today, we're gonna to focus on two, but understanding that a system of linear equations could be two or more. But for algebra one students, it's usually two. Two variables, two unknowns, two equations. So how you would see that is you're gonna graph equation one, graph equation two. You're gonna see a point of intersection and that's our second vocabulary word. And we have a solution of a system of linear equations being this point of intersection. So when you have a solution to a solution of system of any linear equations in two variables, it is an ordered pair that is true for each equation. So the solution to the linear equations is the point or ordered pair of the intersection of the graphs. So you graph first one, you graph the second, they intersect, and this ordered pair is the solution. And we'll explain more of this in the lesson. But understanding our two vocabulary words. First, you have a system of linear equations, which is two or more, and today we'll focus on just two. And then the solution, and when you're asked for the solution, you're always giving an ordered pair. So here are the steps to solving a system of linear equations by graphing. So step one would be to graph each equation in the same coordinate plane. Step two, you're gonna identify the ordered pair where the two lines intersect. And step three, you're gonna check to be sure that the ordered pair is true by substituting in the x and y values from the ordered pair into each equation to verify it is a solution to both equations. So step three is a very important check system to make sure that you have graphed everything correctly. So let's do an example together. So we're going to go back to the original one I gave you with the vocabulary and we're gonna graph these. So here's our coordinate plane and this is our first line. So we have a y-intercept of one, and a slope of one, rise one, run one. So I've graphed the first equation with the red line. Now we're gonna graph the second equation. That has a y-intercept of negative seven and a slope of two. Rise two, run one, rise two, run one. So it's gonna be very important for you if you're not graphing on a computer to use graph paper with a ruler. So if we're not drawing straight lines, you can tell that this point of intersection is going to be difficult to identify or you'll be off. So identify this ordered pair. The x coordinate is 8. The y coordinate is 9. So my solution is the ordered pair 8, 9. That's step 2. Step 3, I want to check to be sure that this is correct. So I can do that algebraically. So to check my solution, I'm going to take my first equation and I'm gonna replace x with eight, and I'm gonna replace y with nine to ensure that this is true to this equation. So does nine equal eight plus one? 
and 8 plus 1 is 9, so it checks. Now we need to check the second equation. So y equals 2x minus 7, replacing the x in the equation with 8, and the y in the equation with 9. y equals 2 times 8 minus 7. So 2 times 8 is 16, and 16 subtract 7 is 9, so it checks. So now I'm sure that I've graphed this correctly, and this is indeed the solution to the problem. Okay, your turn. I would like you to pause, graph the lines, and don't forget to check your solution. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's check your work. So step one was to graph each equation. And we have our first one here, y equals 2x plus 5. So I have my y-intercept of 5. And I have a slope of 2. So you rise 2 and run 1. My second line has a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of negative 4. So I'm going to rise positive 4 and run negative 1. And I can see that my lines intersect at the point negative 1, 3. So step two is to check my point, um, or to identify that, we're going to check. So we have our first equation. We're substituting in 3 for y and negative 1 for x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 5 is 3. Substituting in 3 for y and negative 1 for x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. 4 minus 1 is 3 and it checks. Go ahead and try this one. Please pause, graph, find your solution, and check your solution. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we're going to graph the first line, y equals x. Oops. Here it is. I have a y-intercept of 0 and a slope of 1. My second line has a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of 2. Rise 2, run 1. And now I have my point of intersection, which is the ordered pair negative 1, negative 1. And I'm going to check my solution. So I'm going to take my first equation, y equals x, replace y with negative 1 and x with negative 1, and it checks. Second equation, replace y with negative 1 and x with negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and it checks. Here's another one. Please pause, graph, find your solution, and check. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So step one was to graph. So I have a y-intercept of negative 7 and a slope of negative 4. And then I'm going to, if you solve this equation for y, or you could have graphed it this way, so we could say that um, we could use x and y-intercepts to graph. When x is 0, y will be 2. And when y is 0, x will be 2. Or you could solve this for y y equals negative x plus 2, y-intercept of 2, and a slope of negative 1, giving us a point of intersection of negative 3, 5. So my ordered pair or my solution is negative 3, 5. I need to check my solution. So I go to the first equation and replace y with 5 and x with negative 3. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. It checks. Let's try the second equation. I replace x with negative 3, y with 5. Remember, I'm getting that from my xy ordered pair. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2, and it checks. So the solution to this system is the ordered pair negative 3, 5. And there you have it. Solving a system of linear equations by graphing. Don't forget to check your solution. Please subscribe to my channel if you found this informative and give me a thumbs up. 
I hope to see you again.